what I'm gonna try to do is have you to where your arm is kind of resting, like how you have that arm resting on the table. Okay. You got that on video, right? <laughs> you touched my breast. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if this slides a little bit, that's okay. And yeah, I'm gonna have to adjust some stuff on that side. So I'm gonna put squeeze to make sure that the pressure is even draw okay. the cuff. <laughs> Not like trying to feel your bicep. Right? Hey, hey. <laughs> just tail on my breast, so yeah, I mean. Right. <laughs> I'm just looking for any excuse, right? Yeah, right. All right, arm over. Perfect. I told that to one of the arresting officers because he's he's been giving me tickets for ten years. I said, "You finally got to touch me while you were patting me down. You finally got to touch me, huh?" <laughs> eight, not eight. Okay. Okay. So you're at the number five, <clears throat> even though you did write the number. I watched you write it, right? Mm -hmm. What with this number, I want you to lie to me. Okay. I want you to tell me no and ask you, did you write the number five? Okay. All the other numbers here, you're gonna tell me the truth. You didn't write them. The answer is right here. No. All the way down. Okay. So the question will be, did you write the number two? You're gonna say No. Did you write the number three? No. Did you write the number four? No. Did you write the number five? No. Good. Did you write the number six? No. Did you write the number seven? No. Good. This allows me to get a baseline mm -hmm. of your physiological reactions. Allows me to make sure that you are a capable reactor, responder. And the reason why I do this is so that way, if you have one, you have something to focus on. Sure. And two, <laughs> you can see that the answer is right there. Okay. I still occasionally will get people that will not tell the truth. That's good. Yeah. They'll, they'll <laughs> still go, oh, no, I wrote it. I'm like, yeah, I know you did. Your body's physio, uh, your physiology is constantly changing. Okay. So I'm going to have to be making a lot of adjustments as we go along. Sometimes I'll have to make a lot. Sometimes I won't have to make many at all. Okay. Um, but I will be constantly trying to get it to where I need it to be on the screen, so that way I can score everything. Sure. Um, and again, there's about a about thirty second gap between each exam. That's normal. I'm going through and quickly looking at everything and uh, trying to get an idea of where you're at. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. It's going to actually be very super tight at first. Please remain still. The test is about to begin. Regarding the number you wrote, did you write the number two? No. Did you write the number three? No. Did you write the number four? No. Did you write the number five? No. Did you write the number six? No. Did 
Would you write the number seven? No. Test is complete. Please remain still while I take the instrument out of operation. You had a, you're a sweater. Oh. Not as in the sweater sweater, but a sweater <laughs> as in you sweat. Mm -hmm. um, and since you're right behind me, if you want to take a look real quick. Notice the complex reaction that he gives here. Like when he goes and answers the question, he has a very high increase in sweat gland activity and it's it continues for several seconds. Difference between this and say this one over here on the left, I know it's different colors and it's all jumbled together. This is an initial reaction, but then he kind of starts coming down from it. Mm -hmm. And then some other outside force or factor or variable, whatever you want to call it, is obviously affecting right here, whether it be a, a thought or something that he had after. The reason why I can tell the difference between one that is a continuous one is because it's maintains and stays that way. Right. You have like a good like eight second reaction for your sweat, uh, for your sweat glands. You also had a big uh, increase in your blood pressure too. Uh, pretty heavy increase in blood pressure too. Yeah, they say I'm triple digit over triple digit. Yeah. Really, so. Well, probably because of everything that's going yeah, on. Yeah, everything going on right now. Yeah. All right. So that's our sim test. So everything is working just fine. You're a human. Congratulations. Please remain still, the test is about to begin. Is this the month of February? Yes. Regarding the allegations against you, do you intend to answer each question truthfully? Yes. Are you convinced that I will not ask you a surprise question on this test? Yes. Have you ever lied to loved ones? No. Have you ever knowingly misused or given funeral escort rights to appear as someone empowered by law enforcement? No. Have you ever lied about your finances? No. During the course of your duties, have you knowingly used authority exclusively given to law enforcement officers? Are you afraid that I will ask a question on the test that we have not talked about? No.
Have you ever lied to make yourself look better? No. Have you falsely presented yourself to a citizen as someone empowered by law enforcement? No. remain still I take the instrument of operation this portion of the test is over Please remain still. The test is about to begin. Is this the month of February? Yes. Regarding the allegations against you, do you intend to answer each question truthfully? Yes. Are you convinced that I will not ask you a surprise question on this test? Yes. Have you ever lied about your finances? No. During the course of your duties, have you knowingly used authority exclusively given to law enforcement? Have you ever lied to make yourself look better? No. Have you falsely presented yourself to a citizen as someone empowered by law enforcement? Are you afraid that I'll ask a question on a test that we have not talked about? No. Have you ever lied to loved ones? Have you ever knowingly misused your given funeral escort rights to appear as someone empowered by law enforcement? No. Please
Please remain still while I take the instrument out of operation. This portion of the test is over. All right, we're gonna get really tight. Please remain still. The test is about to begin. Is this the month of February? Yes. Regarding the allegations against you, do you intend to answer each question truthfully? Yes. Are you convinced that I will not ask you a surprise question on this test? Yes. Have you ever lied to loved ones? No. Have you ever knowingly misused your given funeral escort rights to appear as someone empowered by law enforcement? Have you ever lied about your finances? No. During the course of your duties, have you knowingly used authority exclusively given to law enforcement officers? No. Are you afraid that I'll ask a question on the test that we have not talked about? No. Are you in Florida? Yes. Have you ever lied to make yourself look better? No. Have you falsely presented yourself to a citizen as someone empowered by law enforcement? Please remain still while I take the instrument of operation. This portion of the test is over. Have you falsely presented yourself to a citizen as someone empowered by law enforcement? Pass. Um, that question is pretty straightforward. Right. And it clarifies, have you falsely presented yourself? Right. Pass, no problem. During the course of your duties, have you knowingly used authority exclusively given to law enforcement officer? I'm going to say that again. During the course of your duties, have you knowingly used authority exclusively given to law enforcement officers? I don't like that question. Yeah. Every time we said it, the more I thought about it, it basically can be construed as, during the course of your duties, have you used law enforcement officer authority? 
Well, per statute, like you're saying, I'm able to direct traffic. But get what he's trying to do there. Mm -hmm. He's trying to say, have you knowingly used like outside, you know, right, law like enforcement like hold somebody over or use red blue lights? Right. Right. The problem with that question is it goes into a portion that it just it's not worded great. It's mm -hmm. it's it leaves too much to the imagination. You get asked more than three times. It doesn't mean you failed. Uh, it just means you're getting more data. Right. What he basically was implying is, well, I just want to get more evidence against you. That's, right. For lack of a better word, bullshit. You don't right. do that to people because then you set them up to fail. So mm -hmm. the second that he asks you that fourth time, you're going to go, oh, my God. No, no. It's not a science. Mm -hmm. And it never will be a science. I would say that you would pass. I would gladly say that. So. You know, I am technically a court-certified expert witness, so I could testify at any time in court. Fuck Dr. Phil. Mm -hmm. He can believe whatever he wants. Those people on the internet, who cares? Right. They, were, they just want to be angry. We were, I think we said this the other day. They just want to be angry. Right. They want something to hate on. What's up, guys? I'm just hitting you up after my poly. Uh, didn't want to get into it too much before I went in. Didn't want to get my blood pressure up and stuff. But... I don't know about you, but I mean, I can see my face and I know what time it is. So, uh, but we're going to get it on the internet so you guys can see it on YouTube, but I passed that shit. Hook, line and sinker, flying colors, whatever you want to call it. Uh, easy, not a problem. Uh, and, and we even have some audio that we're going to get up. Uh, not too much because we don't want to, we don't want to put this guy on front street cause all you fucking piece of shit trolls. Uh, but uh, man, he even said that, you know, uh, flying into another state, doing all the videotaping before and stuff, you shouldn't have been doing the polygraph for at least a week on and on. Plus they word it and I'm going to say it because you won't see this until probably after Dr. Phil, but they word it as deception. But deception and inconclusive for polygraph examiners is the exact same definition. So inconclusive is what they should have said, but because it's Dr. Phil and they want ratings, they put deceptive to make it look worse. But I never lied and I never misrepresented the facts and I actually passed the exam. The issue is, is probably more than likely on the California one, I have uh, inconclusive readings because of my blood pressure and the environment that I was in. Uh, but in no way, shape, or form was I lying or giving false information. Uh, deceptive and inconclusive is the exact same definition for a polygrapher uh, when they're doing a polygraph. So, uh, and he said the same thing and you'll hear the audio he's just as much as a professional worked for the sheriff's office for many many years doing polygraphs um, uh, licensed by the polygraph companies and throughout the United States you know whatever they have the, the association uh, so ultimately the same background as the other gentleman um, again the other gentleman probably didn't say deceptive he probably say it was inconclusive because there's either passing, inconclusive, or lying. And inconclusive is also labeled as deceptive because that's the same definition for a polygrapher because they can't verify if it's telling the truth or if it's a lie. It's inconclusive or deceptive because there's no true answer. And more than likely, as you'll hear him say in the audio, he probably said it was inconclusive because most polygraphers will say it's inconclusive, but for Hollywood and for ratings, they listed it as deceptive. I know I pass, so that's all that fucking matters at the end of the day. All the haters that will talk all this shit that they want to talk after they see Dr. Phil can suck my and go fuck themselves, but at the end of the day, I know for a fact I passed that shit flying colors and there was no misunderstanding that I've never misrepresented myself as a law enforcement officer on a funeral escort. And that's very clear because he'll even go over the answers that we gave and he'll even go over the one question that's very clear. I never lied about 
representing myself as a law enforcement officer on a funeral escort. The rest of you can go fuck yourself with your boyfriend, Viddler, and his girlfriend, Ramsey. Anyways, love you guys. Hope you enjoy it. I hope I get more subscribers now. I'm a little talking shit now, being the fact I passed that shit. Talk to you fucking guys later. Motor One's rolling.